guys, welcome to New Year Cooking. In this video, I'm going to show you how to prepare Kueh Siput. Kueh is the Malay word for either cakes, snacks, or even biscuits, and siput means snails. And this really looks like snails because it's slightly curly, and uh, this is also slightly spicy, which is what I really like, so it entices the whole appetite. Uh, I love this as a child, especially when I visit my relatives during Chinese New Year. It's the one cookie or kueh that I always dig into. So when my parents, and aunts and uncles, we are always talking, you know, having their talks. This is when I'll start digging in, eating all the kueh siput that I want. And now I'm going to share this with you. Hopefully you'll create your own kueh siput at home and share them with your family and friends too. Now let's look at the list of ingredients. This recipe will require us to prepare this dough that we will fry later on. So just use all purpose flour or wheat flour that would do. And then we have some margarine. Um, if you want to use butter, go ahead. But I feel that margarine suits better with this recipe. A bit of salt just to enhance the taste. An egg, coconut milk. And remember that I said this kueh siput is actually spicy. We have a bit of cumin and also curry powder. If you don't have curry powder, replace it with chili powder that would also do just to help give this kind of spiciness these are actually fennesses which I've already blended and these are actually dried shrimps so what I did was to uh, wash the dry, dried shrimps and then um, pat them dry put them into the oven at about 100 Celsius for about 3 to 5 minutes just to ensure that it's really dry and then I blended them so this is how it looks like after it's, uh, it got blended here I also have some curry leaves which we are going to use to fry our kueh siput with them add all the dry ingredients into the flour so I have my fennel seed powder cumin seeds powder curry powder add my salt and dried shrimps so remember to blend this all well if you don't have the powder form of these herbs once the spices are all mixed evenly in the flour, we're going to add an egg and also the margarine. Lastly, add coconut milk into the mixture. If you find that the dough is too dry, do not fret because just add a bit of water. Just make sure that every, everything comes into a smooth dough and that is the consistency that you're looking for, then you can stop. There you go, a dough that you can work on and shape. So all you need to do now is to pinch a bit of this dough. Small pinch will do. Roll it up, make it into a ball. And the next step is really special because you need this tool that is uh, known to be the kueh siput tool and this is how it looks like. It has these little lines or um, uh, patterns on the plastic or wooden board, mine is a plastic board and it also gives these lines on the kueh siput itself, that's why it looks like a snail. So what we're going to do now is to take this ball of dough, press it against the plastic board and then lightly roll it up and that's it you have your kueh siput here here I have a whole plate of kueh siput but this is just only half of the dough the other half I have it in the fridge and I'm going to continue later anyway we are first going to fry the first batch of the kueh siput so here I have a pan and uh, I've also heated up a bit of oil now this oil should be heated up at um, medium heat not too high you wouldn't want to immediately burn the kueh siput but not too low you just want to have this perfect heat to really fry this and make sure that it's crispy so I'm just going to put in a bit of kueh siput first So this is turning golden brown, just add a bit of curry leaves and then allow it to fry. Now that it's golden brown, I'm going to quickly scoop it up onto a kitchen towel. 
frying the crispy food just leave it aside to cool and really for me when I look at this plate of crispy food it brings back so much memories especially of me digging into this uh, little pot that has um, a lot of crispy food and I really enjoy them with all my heart so I hope you love this recipe as well uh, it's supposed to be a bit spicy so um, you can lessen down the chili if you do not want it to be too spicy but I like it that way mm. it's a little bit like biscuit but it has this hint of spiciness and when you fry this your whole kitchen is going to smell with so much herbs it's really fragrant and I bet your whole family is going to enjoy so i hope you will try this recipe tell me if you like it or not in the comment section below or on twitter google plus or instagram till then i wish you a happy cooking